Hey guys, welcome to another video. So I am sat in a different location in my bedroom. I'm gonna be completely honest. I couldn't be bothered to get all my lights and stuff out. I just, that's just, I'm, I just can't be bothered. So we're gonna keep it real today. Um, I'm literally just using the light from like my makeup mirror on my face. Figured that's what it's for. So yeah, I thought today I could do a little chatty get ready with me. You guys have asked me this for quite a while and I just never get around to filming them. So I thought whilst I'm getting ready today, I would film it for you guys and hopefully you'll enjoy it so yeah if you do let me know in the comments don't forget to give it a thumbs up all the love as usual and I'm just gonna get going first of all I need to wet my sponge this is always the bane of my life because I'm too lazy to walk two meters to the bathroom be right back <laughs> I did it so my skin isn't at its greatest I don't have any actually like active spots it's just kind of like remains of a spot that I've picked I'm gonna blame it on the stress of university um because that's what I'm blaming everything on right now so <laughs> we're gonna attempt to cover them up so the foundation I have been using is this one I hadn't had this for a while and I finally reordered it and I remembered exactly why I liked it it's the elf foundation in porcelain and so so good if you're very pale like me because i've been trying oh i nearly dropped it i've been trying to use my other ones um just because i do have quite a lot of foundation so i was trying to use them up because i was like why do i need to just have this many but in the end i've gone back to this one because this is the one that is an orange on my face because i am that pale even the ivory foundations look orange on me so yeah we've gone back to this elf one it's quite cheap actually um uh, this foundation i got it from boots or superdrug i can't remember i'll leave it linked down below i'll link everything down below um and i love it so definitely recommend this one okay so that's the foundation hopefully you can see the difference this chair spins by itself um but yeah hopefully you can see the difference it's not major full coverage but i don't really like having too much coverage because uh, it just feels a bit cakey, you know, sometimes I will, maybe on a night out, but this is perfect for uni um, And especially when I'm having a bad skin day because it just kind of helps move it out a little bit and then I will put some concealer on so I kind of switch between concealers. Where's my other one? Sometimes I'll treat myself and use my Urban Decay one um, But this is usually for when I'm having a really good skin day because it is quite light so recently I've been using this one, it's the collection Lasting Perfection, everyone has it, I have it in the lightest shade. Apparently they do a lighter one now, but I'm in fair number one. Um, and then I have this Urban Decay Naked Skin colour correcting thing. It's almost run out, I'm not 100% sure how much this does, but it claims to lighten up your dark circles before you put concealer on. So I am gonna, I'm gonna try that because dark circles are a constant struggle in my life right now. <laughs> Oh, also, I'm thinking, well, I'm going to, I'm going to start weekly vlogging again. And if you've been a subscriber for three years, um, you'll know that I did used to weekly vlog. So when I first got to uni um, in first year, I weekly vlogged and I really, really enjoyed it and I'm missing it. So I'm figuring, I'm figuring, I've decided I'm going to go back to it. Um, so they'll go up on a Monday. I love watching weekly vlogs and... Right now my life isn't entertaining enough to vlog every single day. It was getting repetitive and as much as I do like um, homey chill vlogs, there's only so many times you can watch one of them before it just gets a bit dull. So that's kind of why I stopped and obviously uni stress and my relationship status and all that kind of stuff. But I am missing it and I know you guys are because loads of you have tweeted me and told me that you miss it. So I figured let's finish how we started let's um end my university life with weekly vlogs again because i feel like that'd be really really fun so let me know if you're down for that i'm using the naked no cook urban decay setting spray thing to put my concealer on um, but yeah let me know if you are looking forward to that because i am i don't know why but when i apply my makeup i close my right eye I've realised this over the years when I film my makeup and it's kind of like I don't mean to do it. Why do I do that? I don't I don't know. <laughs> it's like my concentration involves me doing this and like using only one eyeball. Maybe it's because this eyeball's stronger. I don't know. 
I am actually going to put a little bit more on the more stubborn spots on my face. I wish I wasn't the age of 22 and still getting spots, but unfortunately this is my reality right now, so just going to have to deal and cover it up. <laughs> cool. Foundation is done. I completely look like a flat ghost. So powder, always the same powder for me. Um, what is it? Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Should know that off by heart by now. Um, and I'm just going to put this on with a big brush. This brush is from Wilco. Wilco's brushes are amazing, so defo recommend. And I'm just going to like put quite a lot of this on. I put a lot on under my eyes because they like to crease. Um, and then kind of dust it in the oily parts of my face, so like my nose, my forehead and my chin. Righty then. On to contour. I use this thing and I absolutely love this recommend this to all my friends um, my housemate uses this and one of my course mates does because I told them to and they also love it it's the Rimmel Kate little trio thing and it's in the shade number two coral glow and you get a highlight a bronzer and a blush and I feel like they're all amazing I use the bronzer and the blush I've just stabbed myself in the neck with the end of this ow um the bronzer and the blush are ones I use every single day. Um, I'll just put a little bit more on if I'm going out, just for a bit more contour. Um, and the highlight, the highlight in this is really, really nice. It's nice like everyday highlight, it's not too crazy. But again, if I'm going out, I will break out one of my other highlighters because I do own quite a lot. So I like to show them all the love and affection that they deserve. Not gonna lie, I can't really see what I'm doing because of the angle of this camera. <laughs> Uh, it's really really clinging to this spot here. Can you see that? Uh, I'm just gonna have to deal. This is my face right now. I'm just gonna put some in my hairline. Gives a bit of shape to my head. Makes my forehead look a little less big. You know. And then I'll just use whatever's left on the brush to kind of put on my neck. But I am very cautious, cautious, cautious of this because I am pale. And it is very very easy for me to turn orange so yeah so that's that blusher again wilkinson brush wilco's it's amazing i had this for ages just a little light dusting of blush it doesn't make too much of a difference but i don't know i kind of like putting a bit of blush on and then highlighter using my real techniques little brush to be honest technically these kind of brushes are for highlight right does anyone actually use these? I think it's a bit of a rarity because I find brushes that are like this so much easier to use for highlights. It doesn't just end up all over your face. I'm going to use this one in the Rimmel set because on a day to day, this is kind of what I put on. I don't know how much you can tell. Hopefully when I film the clip at the end, you can see what effect this has, but it is really, really pretty. Put it on under my eyebrows, on my cheekbones. Can you see that? I'm hoping you can see that. It's kind of like a natural glow as opposed to like glitter all over your face. I mean, I'm down for glitter all over my face too, but just not on a day to day. On my nose, on my upper lip, Bob's your uncle. Well, I mean, my uncle's actually called Neil, but you know. <laughs> What's next? I feel like this is a point when I do my eyeshadow, so we'll go for that. Um, I've been using my Self Does Nails Makeup Revolution palette. I actually saw as well the in Lincoln's Superdrug, the one in the waterside, um, they have this, they have quite a few in stock, so definitely recommend. Not gonna lie, I broke it. Um, it is Makeup Revolution, so it's not like the most sturdy product in the world, but the colours make up for it. I love this palette. Sofa's chosen such a nice selection of colours. So I can put this on for day to day, I can put this on for when I'm feeling a bit more daring. It's such a good combo, honestly, it's my dream palette and I was tempted to buy another one the other day when I saw them, so yeah. So I'm just going to use this little blendy fluffy brush. This is from a brand called Lamora. I got it from eBay or something, link it down below as always. Um, and I just like to take this shade next to the purple one put it in the crease I don't know what these are called I got rid of that little bit of plastic and then kind of just blend away I feel like this is gonna be the worst makeup look I've done in a while I'm just not used to filming makeup tutorials anymore I'm not a makeup person guys as much as I'd like to think I am sometimes what I really like about these as well is that they're really really blendable like that blob there is quite harsh and if I just literally sit and keep blending it'll like 
reduce <laughs> I don't know but yeah it gets like a lot less harsh and you just gotta keep doing it stay patient like if you're not the best at eyeshadow just start with lighter colors right this eye went a little cray so using the white or the one next to it I suppose um, I'm gonna put this under my eyebrow and kind of blend it back down again to kind of get rid of the craziness that I have just created. I tend to do this mistake every day and I just get a bit excited about the crease colour and then it goes everywhere. So uh, grab yourself a big, bigger fluffy brush and just blend, blend your life away. I'm going to go for something a little bit more exciting. I'm going to go for this like dark pink shade next to the black. And just put a little bit of that in the crease just to make it a little bit more pink. I really, really like pink eyeshadow on myself. I don't know where this came from because I used to just hate pink. I don't know why. I just wasn't a girly girl. And now, I mean, I feel like I'm known for my love of pink. Like, my channel head is pink. I have loads of pink coats. I just love pink. I love that you guys tune in for this quality content of me talking absolute nonsense while I do my makeup in the morning. I appreciate you guys for sticking up, sticking up, putting up with me. This was supposed to be a subtle makeup and it's slowly not becoming one, but I am kind of okay with that. So I am now going to put this kind of shimmery one all over my lid. And I always do this with my finger because I just find it makes like a stronger color. So there we go. And then taking the big, huge brush again, I'm just gonna dust this all out because I feel like it looks a bit grey. This is not everyone's kind of go-to day-to-day look. Don't think I'm gonna call it a day-to-day -day look in the title. It's kind of escalated, hasn't it, really? Eyeliner, Maybelline, it's not Maybelline. Uh, Soap and Glory Supercut Eyeliner. This isn't the skinny one. I've never had the skinny one, although I've heard good things. I'm gonna put a little bit across my lash line, not too much, I don't really want a flick because I have very watery eyes and I've discovered that as soon as I walk to uni my cat eye flicks have just disappeared so I've given up on them for now. Oh look what I've done. Oh, it's okay I saved it kind of. Let's just patch this up with a bit of bit of eyeshadow. Magical. Eyeliner is complete. Right I'm going to continue with the weird combo of things and do my eyebrows because my eyebrows look a little bit crazy right now so I either use my Isla brow pomade which is very well loved has no label left and I'll just use like a little this little doodah with like a spoolie on the other end again it will go um or this essence brow gel thing I'm gonna guess that I got sent this because I can't remember buying it but it's just basically a coloured eyebrow gel and it's really really nice. I put that on sometimes when I'm not really feeling really defined eyebrows but because I've happened to go for very strong makeup on my eyes I thought I would do this eyelid one. So what I do is I'll draw a line at the bottom, keep kind of light handed, definitely gonna do this wrong because I'm filming it. And then I'll put a bit more on the brush and go kind of like from halfway and draw on the top. And then I'll get to kind of the arch and draw back down again. And now I'm just filling it in with what's left on the brush. I've not added any more to it. I'll just go back through. For some reason today this eyebrow <laughs> is curly. So I have a bit of a dint but we're just going to accept it. I am going to forgive this eyebrow. And I'm just going to go onto my other eyebrow and then afterwards while... Well, I'll comb them out. So I've got my basic eyebrows done. They look so dark when I don't have mascara on. And all I do is kind of go side to side with this brush and brush it up to kind of soften out the middle bits, if that makes any sense. And there are my crazy eyebrows. I can't decide if I've done them well today or not. I feel like it's a bit of a bad attempt, but I'm too lazy to do it again, so we're going to accept it. Mascara. Um, I've been using a bit of a weird combo because my all-time favourite mascara ran out. And again, I'm trying to use up the ones I do have because I have quite a lot. So, I have been using um, my curlers, which I'm presuming were from Primark at some point. And then I'll put a little bit of this one on. It's the 
soap and glory thick and fast i did just used to put this one on but it's ran out um so now it's just kind of a good base i guess and then i'm using this primark ps amplified for you mascara which is a grand total of two pounds and i actually really like it i've heard quite a few people using that as well so if you don't have the biggest budget or if you just want to buy a cheap one see how it is head to primark they do have good ones Oh, I forgot to add a little bit of colour to under my eyes. So I've got this like angled brush from Lamora and I'm going to use that first crease shade and just put a little bit in this corner. Just so it kind of brings the shadow down and joins them together, I guess. Now for the Primark one. What's really nice about this Primark one is that it's buildable. So if you don't want anything too crazy, you just put like one coat of it on. And then the other night when we went out, I put like two, three coats of it on. Mascara is done. So now the only thing left is my lips and they look a bit bare. I'm not really sure what lipstick to put on. My usual go-to is kind of just put a bit of Vaseline on, but I feel like sometimes that looks a bit strange because I've got such bold colours on my eyes. So I'm going to try and find a nude. Oh, my leg is dead. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what this is definitely not a nude but i've just seen this kylie lip kit i think it's the poise one i oh, know it's candy k i've not worn this for a while so i'm gonna go for this I'm gonna instantly regret it because it is quite cold outside which means my lips are very dry but i do still really like liquid lipsticks just because of how well they last and especially when i'm filming they don't go on my teeth which is also a bonus oh i forgot how much i love this color so that is it for my makeup look and usually i would just kind of floof my hair um i washed it last night so i can get away with having it all down today so i might just go for that and that is kind of how i get ready in the morning so i hope you enjoyed this i'm now going to film a little clip of it in the daylight so you can see it but give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed thanks for watching and let's go over to the window to see what my face looks like ready Ooh, so this is my face in the daylight um i really really love how this foundation looks obviously my skin isn't even underneath it but from a distance point of view it looks nice it's done a good job on covering the imperfections eyeshadow i love this eyeshadow 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 i can't talk lipstick good i'm loving it I just really like wearing pink colours. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye!